you can wait. That's what you can do. You know what I mean? And she's having, you gotta catch your money when it comes out the ATM because I don't trust nobody. So because the girl that was hosting the seminar, she did test positive for COVID. It's just because in another thing, like I can't go through a regular car wash. Like my car has to be hand washed, baby. What is this the fast food for? Y'all moving slow. Walking your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. I need bitch. I ain't even gonna hold it. I need bitch. And I thought that they told it. Hey, what's your baby? This is Barbara, and I am back with another video. If you're a return subscriber, hey, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and join the Bougie Crew because it's a Bougie Way in a way, period. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a nail vlog. But before we get into the nail vlog, I want to show, I want to tell y'all where I got this bomb wig from. This is from, um, Mama, where this wig from? Huh? Where the wig from? Cheetah. Cheetah hair? Cheetah beauty? Yeah. This wig is from Cheetah beauty. Um, This is a 26 inch, I believe, deep wave. I don't, I'm not sure, but everything is going to be in the description on this wig. Bro, this wig is so pretty, like. It's the um, it's the waves for me. It's the curls for me. So I really like this wig. Um, it's very full, very thick. Um, it did not come pre-plucked. It didn't come pre-plucked. Um, so I didn't pluck it much at all. Um, this is like free spray. But I just did a little bit of plucking on the side when I did my baby hairs. I had to rush and do my hair because my mom was on the way to come get me. So I didn't even get to this side. <laughs> but I did take pictures in this wig. So y'all gonna be able to see, you know, me slay this wig on the ground. Um, but yeah, it's just so pretty. Like everybody keeps saying, is that your New Year's hair? Is that your New Year's hair? And I think I am going to actually wear this for New Year's because it's just so cute. Like it's just so cute. And I think I'm gonna do like, half up half down when i when i wear my um balenciaga hoodie i mean i mean not hoodie the sweater with the boots and i think it's all gonna be it's, got, it's all gonna like be so cute like with this hair so i'm trying to decide because i just called um the girl that's doing my hair so i asked her if she's gonna be able to install this even though i already done cut on the wig so we'll see we'll see you guys um but i really like this wig And I know this would be cute with like a middle part too. So yeah, it's very full. I didn't wet it or anything. I just combed through it. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you wet it, it's really pretty too. So yeah, this is just how it looks in its natural state. Just dry, fresh out the box, just combed through. Um, that's pretty much it. And like I said, I just did a little bit of plucking, not much. So it still don't look bad. But yeah, that's the look. That's the vibes, that's the tea. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this nail vlog. I hope y'all enjoy this nail vlog. Also, at the end of the nail vlog for the chit chat part, you will see me with different hair. That's because I installed this. That's because I installed this hair after the nail vlog. Same day, but after I left the nail shop. So that's why you'll see me wearing different hair. But this is the hair right here that you need to focus on. Okay. All right, Ms. Rays, let's go ahead and get into the video. Say hi, Sarah. Hi, good morning. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> so this is where we're starting. From this. To we see. She freestyling.
love. So I just finished getting my nails done. I'm about to pull up at, um, y'all, I'm running so last minute with everything. This morning I was supposed to wake up and film two videos, but I realized my nail, my nail appointment was at 1030 and not at uh, 12. Why is this Chick-fil-A always packed? Because I really wanted Chick-fil-A, but I don't want to wait in that line. But I mean, it moves pretty fast, but still. Um, you can wait. That's what you can do. You're not in a fucking rush. Um, do this ATM work? Because ain't nobody at this ATM. Let's see. Ooh, I'll be so scared I'm gonna hit this blue pole. But yeah, so I was supposed to, right now, this ATM can't dispense cash. Of course! So, right, like I was saying, um, I was supposed to record two videos this morning, but I realized my nail appointment was earlier than it was supposed to be, so that threw me off track. So now, I'm trying to run home and record two videos because I gotta get two videos out um, before I go out of town. And I gotta get my post out as well. Y'all, I be so busy. So I got two videos to get out, which I need to edit them by tonight or by tomorrow, <laughs> because they have to be, have an unlisted link by um, by Thursday before I leave. I leave Thursday at two. I'm gonna be in the A. <laughs> so I leave Thursday at two. Um, and I wanna make sure I have everything together. So I got my nails done today. So when I get back home, I'm gonna film these two um, videos. And then I'm gonna edit them when I get to the office. And then tomorrow I'll get my hair done at 12. And then I need to pack all my stuff. So I wonder if I should do like a pack pack with Barbie video. I don't know. I might do a video of me packing my clothes, but at the end of the day, I might not because I'm still waiting on the package to get here. I'm still waiting on one more package to get here. So that's kind of blowing me right now because I've been and ordered it and I did the fast shipping. So I don't get it, but I understand it's the holidays or whatever. So whatever. But yeah so i'm i could do i could probably do a packing with barbie um but yeah like i said i got a lot of work to get done before i go i kind of did all this last minute i should have been well it wasn't really last minute because i just received the products in the mail on monday so with that being said i like my nails i got them blue because for new year's eve i will be wearing blue y'all know i'm extra i let it match <laughs> so for new year's eve i'm wearing blue and for my airport photos i'm wearing blue too you guys so I'm so excited because I am able to take my airport photo. So but I forgot the girl booked my flight for um, 2 p.m. So I'm going to have my assistant. Before my assistant even came up, my mom was like, you know what? I got you with your airport photos. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom, you're so like, you my dog. So she was going to take my airport photos. She was going to leave work and come take my airport photos. Like that's how important it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? This influencer life is very important. Like I'm trying to get up there. So anyway, she was like, but um, did you forget about Desi, your assistant? And I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot about my assistant. So she's going to come with me to the airport to take my photos. And <clears throat> so I'm so happy about that. Cause y'all know I was so upset about that. Y'all know I love my airport photos. So that kind of did upset me, but it's okay because it's going to happen. Seminar has been canceled, you guys. Hold on. So I gotta get this cash for my hair. Y'all, let me tell you about my hair appointment too. Hold on. Oh. I never have cash on me ever. Like, not a dollar. Not a dollar. And I need to stop that. I need to start keeping at least like a hundred dollars in cash on me, at least minimum. So for my hair appointment, um, I've never had my hair done down here besides with my friends. So, you know what I'm saying? I never had a serious hair appointment, right? So, and she's having, you gotta catch your money when it come out the ATM because I don't trust nobody. So, she's charging me 200. I already paid a $30 deposit, so I owe her 170. She's gonna make my wig. She's gonna take the wig down and remake it. It's my 40 inch wig that I be wearing from my hair collection. So I'll be able to promote my hair collection. Um, also, so what I was saying about my hair, so you guys, I'm so glad that I hit her up about my hair appointment because like I said, I've never had my hair done in Dallas before, like really like with a, you know, actual like stylist where I have to book. Cause with my friend Adriana, I didn't really book. I just told her, you know, I'm, I'm gonna come get my hair done, blah, blah. I'll be there on this day at this time. So I text the girl and I'm like, um, so when do you want to meet to pick up the wig? And she was like, um, mind you, I know the girl. Um, but I don't know her like that, like that, but I know her cause I be out and you know, we speak every time we see each other. So, um, 
I text her and I'm like, so when are we gonna meet to get the wig? You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you gotta take it down and remake it. She was like, um, she basically said, um, if you read the email, it tells you all the steps you need to do. So I read the email and it said, um, you, you will need to drop your wig off at this location two days prior to your appointment, which I didn't know that. Um, or it's a $50 late charge if you bring it to the appointment with you. So, I mean, not $50 late charge, it's $50 extra if you bring it same day. Um, and then it said, make sure you have the exact cash. I never had cash, y'all. I was going to sell her or, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you know, I was going to yeah pretty much sell her because i don't i don't use cash app so i was gonna sell her the money so i'm glad i seen that because it said bring exact cash then i paid her a 30 dollar deposit but i'm just gonna give her this whole 200 so she get like a 30 dollar tip but anyway so um and then the last one what really got me it said make sure you you come with your hair washed and blow dried straight y'all when i tell y'all what if I didn't have none of that done? What if I would just went with my wig on and had her take, thinking she was gonna take down everything, wash my hair, braid my hair? I'm thinking all of that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I've never had my hair done, so I didn't even think to read the email she sent. The only thing, um, when she sent me the email, when you book the appointment and send you a verification email, a confirmation email or whatever, and I was just like, okay, that's confirming my appointment. I didn't even think to click on the freaking confirmation email and read, and I'm so glad I did because it has all the instructions you need to know. She was like, she was like, please just go read the email. It has everything you need to know on the email. So I'm so glad I read it. So basically why I'm saying that is because I have to go take my hair down. I have to wash it. I'm gonna do all that in the morning though. Or I might do it tonight when I come from the office. I, I gotta take my braids in, I gotta blow dry my hair, I gotta comb it out. Cause y'all, my hair is so thick. When I tell y'all, it took me like three hours to comb my hair out. Like last month when I had washed it, it took me like three hours. So I'm glad I seen that cause I gotta get that done ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not, just not something that, that you could just really just do like, you know, like that. Like my hair is so thick, it takes forever to comb it out. So I'm glad I read that email. So that's what I that's what I want to tell y'all about about my hair appointment because like I would have been out of there. She would have been like, girl, no, you need to come back when you follow the instructions. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, the seminar has been canceled because the girl that was hosting the seminar, she did test positive for COVID and you know you have to quarantine for 14 days. A lot of people are upset. She said that she postponed it. Um, I haven't received a postponed date. Um, she's basically saying she's gonna do a virtual, but I don't know. Hold on. Hi. Have a name for the order? Barbie. Alright. I would just like the six piece um kids meal with a um lemonade and Chick-fil-A sauce. Alright. Alright, you gotta remove it. You're good to go. Thank you. So basically I've had Chick-fil-A three times in a row. Um I, this week. Three times in a row. Well, I had a Saturday, Monday, and then Tuesday, which is today. Um, and the reason I got a kid's meal is because I'm making stir fry later on tonight. So I need to uh, thaw my chicken out when I get home. And then I got to go to the store when I leave the office. But before I go to the office, I got to take my pictures and do those two videos. Y'all, I'm so busy today. Um, so yeah, she said that she was going to do the seminar like a virtual, like on a Zoom. But I don't know. Like she hasn't let me know anything yet. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, you know, participate in the festivities of the seminar because she hasn't told me anything yet. Or, you know, my mom hasn't relayed any messages if she has. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't really know what's going on. I just know that it's supposed to be, you know, for a later date. So I do apologize about that, y'all. I know that y'all wanted to meet the bar. And I know that y'all wanted to meet the other girls as well. Because I wanted to meet the other girls as well in person. But at the end of the day, stuff happens. And you have to protect yourself. And you have to worry about your health. You can't be, you know, stressing over things you can't control at the end of the day. So I just hope she gets better soon. I know she will. And I'm glad that she's okay. But, um, yeah. So... I'm just about to get my food and I'm about to head home, get ready, film these two videos before I go to the office today. So I'll show y'all my nails when I get home. Um, I didn't get my toes done today. My toes are still good and my toes really not going to be out. You know, it's cold. I mean, they still might be out a little bit. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm taking any open toe shoes. I know I'm taking a big suitcase and a lot of options. So toes might be out but toes still good period feet still look good if they didn't if they was chipped or something then i would have got a full pedicure today but they still look amazing and i got a wax i got a lip wax a brow wax and 
I got a feel today. Um, everything came out to 110 and I tipped her and I paid 130. So, oh, does she need me? I don't think she need me. But yeah, you need me? You need something for me? Oh um, no, it's okay. All right, have a good one. Thank you. So yeah, yeah, I need to wash my car. I haven't had my car washed in so long. My car is so dirty, like, so dirty. It's just because, in another thing, like, I can't go through a regular car wash. Like, my car has to be hand washed, baby. Like, you can't take this, you can't take this car through no regular car wash. Like, it's not meant to be. Um, I already got to get my paint touched up, y'all. I was thinking about getting my car a metallic pink. Like, I was thinking about that. That will be so clean. Like, that would be so nice. So, I don't know. I might get my car re, re like, a different... It's going to be pink, but I, I feel like I want to get it a different type of, like... I don't know what to call it, but I want to get metallic pink. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing too much. Let me chill out. I'm so ready to move into my new apartment, you guys. Um, It's just so much coming up for 2021, and I'm so excited, and I'm very blessed, and I'm very grateful. And I just know that God is going to just, like, open so many doors for me come 2021. Like, I'm so ready. Like, I'm not going to complain about being tired or nothing. I told my mama the other day, I want to be booked, booked, busy, tired, and paid. Okay, honey? That's what I want to be for 20, in 2021. I don't care if I'm tired. I don't care if I got to stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning filming videos, baby. I'm going to get on my grind, okay? I'm going to get on my grind. Like, I got a YouTube revenue video coming up for what I did, for what I made for 2020 um, with YouTube. Hold on. Is one of them mine? Oh, okay. I didn't see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> he said, keep pulling up. Y'all, they got it down over here at Chick fil A. I love Chick fil A. Like, that's, that restaurant is so organized. Like, that's one of the top businesses that's so organized. They move fast. Like, you go to any other fast food, and you be like, what is this the fast food for? Y'all moving slow. What is this the fast food for? I'm supposed to be able to pull up and go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to wait. Like, when I go to Whataburger, sometimes sometimes you got to wait for a mini. Like, Whataburger is packed. But anyways, so, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, like I said, I'll show y'all my nails when I get to the house, and it's pretty much going to be the end of the video. I don't have too much to talk about today because I'm trying to, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do. So, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me all the time. Um, my camera is coming soon. I'm getting me a camera um, next month. Probably as soon as I get back from Atlanta, I'm going to buy me a camera. So, I'm excited about that. I'm excited for 2021. This new journey is going to be amazing, and I'm going to be providing you guys with amazing content. So, stay tuned. I love y'all so much, bougie babes. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. So this is the finished look, you guys. A set, nothing less than. Stop playing with Sarah. So <laughs> they kind of look, <laughs> they kind of look the same because, like I said, I got a feel, and I wanted the rhinestones back in the same spot, just like it is. So yeah, super cute. I want to hear Sarah say that. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Super duper cute. What you gonna do for your brother's congratulations? Right. <laughs> Got the blue marble on there. Peace.